Welcome to Down to Earth Organic Growing, y'all. This is uh, my new gardening channel, uh, All Organic. I'll tell y'all how to grow a bunch of stuff. I got uh, to start out with, this is my first year doing these, but these are called sugar snap peas. These are dwarf grays. I got two rows of the dwarf grays. And then I got a row of just the regular sugar snap peas by Livingston, uh, just a common seed company do believe I'm pronouncing it right, Livingston. Um, other than that, I uh, dug holes for each one of these seedlings because I did start these plants indoors, these little girls. All I did is started them in little seed packs, just put some soil, you know, potting mix, and then dropped my seeds in water, good pH water. Everything out in my garden likes a very uh, neutral pH, which is like around seven, 6.5. Uh, if you get berries and blueberries and all that stuff, some of them like to be more acidic. Um, like to give them like more peat than other stuff. Uh, we'll get into that though, guys. Today, I just wanted to show you around my uh, outside garden. Uh, we can get around. We'll go indoors, you know, in a couple videos from now and show y'all how I do my seedlings for my garden out here. Uh, let's, we'll just walk around a little bit, guys. As you can tell, uh, this has not... I'm still going to plant stuff right here. This is my free space I got, uh, which is quite a bit for me. This, I just put the easy straw, the no mess, easy tack straw from Real King. It was like 12 bucks. It's worth it. I still have like a half a bag and I've done a lot. You guys can see how much I've done with it. I'll show you here in a little bit. So hope you guys are liking the, the content. I just wanted to do something. Uh, I really like gardening and my kids and my wife uh, we all like to be out here uh, we put a lot of love in this i just wanted to show y'all that uh, it's really not that hard to grow your own vegetables and uh, if you got the right person just telling you simple stuff ph look at your soil uh, know what your soil's got in it there's all kinds of little key stuff you can look for what's growing around it uh, is the grass dead in the area you're just going to till up uh, look for stuff like that if your grass is really green uh, there's usually probably gonna say there's good nitrogen in there because grass clippings are got a lot of nitrogen when it dies through the winter it'll lay down get that nitrogen in the ground and then all new seed you know seeds will pop next year for grass that's how it is so you just got to keep an eye on it you can always uh, eyeball your soil uh, smell you can always just pick it up and smell it this right here does have a I put the chicken manure on it from real king also guys i bought the big bag for like 15 bucks which uh, i can get my own chicken manure i just don't like it as fresh i like the little pellets you can get out of it they had it processed and stuff because uh if i get the other one it's uh, i don't like stepping in it trying to the other one or the pellets are a lot easier is all i'm saying and that's why i do that uh if you do have chickens i go ahead and do not pay for that yes you're right uh I do not have chickens. Uh, my dad does, but still, I don't like stepping in it, guys. So right here, I'll show you guys. This is a five by 25 foot raised bed I just put in. This is one of my raised beds. You got sweet corn right here, double sweet corn. Now the sun set, you know, the sun comes up from the east, sets in the west. You don't always, you don't want your garden going this way, north to south. You always want it going east to west. Uh, you, you don't want it on the other side of houses or something like that. You always want to make sure before you even till where you think you're going to go, make sure you keep an eye on it throughout that whole day at how much sunlight that gets. Because there's some plants that need a lot more sunlight or a lot less. Every seed pack will tell you how far, how spaced they need to be. Just read your seed packs. That's all you need to do. Uh, let me show you guys. Uh, this is green onions right here. I got yellow sweet onions and then my sweet corns over here so all this sweet corn to grow up now listen to me here if i put the sweet corn way over here and put it like right there and had it all grow up and the sun is setting down you know towards the west all this is going to be shaded at probably around 5 30 6 o'clock so you got to consider that uh, always think ahead of how your plants are gonna grow if you don't know how they look or do grow research them i'm gonna help you guys out on this channel because uh i'm gonna show you a lot of uh here we'll we'll take a step in this other one but i'll show you some actual plants 
But uh, these are uh, these ain't these ain't the best. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get another uh, another strawberry for sure. I've got some seedlings started, but she's snapping out of it. But I've had her for like a year, and uh, she's just a very slow grower. She's always been probably just a runt seedling, but uh, I keep her along, guys. I don't like throwing plants away. I just uh, if I started it, I like to finish it. It's kind of thing uh, a way I look at it. And uh, as you guys guys can tell, sorry about that. I like to have straw all around my plants. Uh, I come out here, just make sure uh, you don't want, just make sure you ain't got like big holes under the straw that you don't know, you know what I mean? Have your kids step in or tripping. Just make sure, you know, watch out for that too, guys. I mean, safety first. I got a couple kids and I know how they like to be. So let me show you. Now these right here are peppers, banana peppers. Or I'm sorry, these are the bell peppers, these six. These six are sweet banana, and these six are jalapeno. These six right here are mixed grilling peppers, is what they call it. Now these six tomatoes over here are called sweet 100s. Them right there are called jet stars. Them are like the bigger uh, sandwich tomatoes. Uh, let me show you this broccoli. I just did this one of my little experiments. I just wanted to see compared to the earth bed on my broccoli right here, as y'all can tell. I got, I think, 12 broccoli in here. It's the first year I've ever grown broccoli, but they're flourishing. Uh, they seem like they like it a lot. Sorry if it's kind of sunny out, guys. Uh, I can't really see my screen that much. I'm trying to make it clear for y'all to see. This is my first video, and uh, I hope this channel gets a lot of love guys because that's all i'm trying to do is just spread love and knowledge and don't ever be afraid to drop a comment on something you think i should do different or something guys i'm always here to learn i'm not not a know-it-all by any means guys i just like doing this and i wanted to, to provide some information all on one channel for you guys about any kind of fruiting or edible we're gonna have a bunch of herbs and all kinds of stuff i'll show you guys in the following videos Let's, just like this, for instance, I got a uh, Gold Rush potatoes in here, guys. It's just a, them big old, uh, I'd say that's probably a, uh, uh, she's got to be at least a, maybe a 30, I don't know, a 30 gallon, I'd say, 30 gallon pot. We got four potatoes in there, four slits of the potatoes, you know, the eyes. Now, let me show you here. We'll, we'll do a close up on these. Now my tomatoes are starting to show yellow flowers. Uh, they're really loving this weather. As y'all can tell, I ain't got no nutrient burn or anything like that. I use all organic. Uh, let me show you guys here. These plants will tell you what they need and you just always wanna come out and look. And if you got like a, let's say this leaf was bad, it ain't, but let's say this one was bad. Go ahead and pick it off there, guys. That's not gonna hurt nothing. Now, I throw all mine in a decom uh, my compost pile, so it really just, it, you know, you reap the benefits from it. So it ain't like you're, you're literally not losing anything. You're only gaining from it. So now this is a garlic, guys, and uh, I'm trying to stay on track for y'all. I know how uh, YouTube and I just want a channel that you guys can come to and feel like you're at home and uh, really just like the same things I like guys that's that's what I'm looking for I'm looking to meet new friends and start a good thing on here got a little lilac bush it's a dwarf that one right there other than that I just wanted to show y'all a couple of uh, what's going on here in this channel I hope y'all subscribe like you don't have to uh, please drop a comment or something say hi don't ever be afraid to do that I'm a very friendly guy uh, Oh, let me show you one more thing, guys, before I get quit bothering you here. You got green onions here. Now, these how the, this how your green onions look. Now, you want them spaced out. If you had them real close to each other, you're not going to have big onions. Uh, to ask yourself, how big do you want your onions? Because that's how big your space is going to be. Now, eventually, you're going to have to cut around top of this and just kind of break up your soil. To let your bowl get bigger or it won't ever get you know a big sandwich onion 
So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're red, yellow, or white. They all still grow like this. And you want to keep them the same, you know, room apart. They smell really good. Just, mm, just touching them like that. Uh, I do have straw everywhere down in this bed too. Everywhere, as y'all can tell. These broccolis are just, I mean, they're massive. They really are liking this weather. So I hope y'all uh, subscribe and Hope y'all like some information I gave you. Uh, I'm trying to think if I, uh, I'll cover like the how to's in this next video guys for you. I'll dig a couple holes and show you how I uh, plant some stuff here in a minute. So I'll actually post that here and just right after this video for y'all. So I want y'all to just flourish in information and grow your own and not have to live off a grocery store guys. You can at least get some of your main vegetables you buy all the time out in your backyard and it will be the best tasting. I mean, don't ever. The only recommendation I have for nutrients, guys, is do not use Miracle Grow. Uh, <clears throat> and if you do use it like quarter strength, that stuff, it just, uh, it, it will have a lot of taste. Like if you don't, if you use it all the way up to, let's say, I put it on my tomatoes and I'm going to pick them the next day and I just water them the night before, do you really want to be eating chemicals? You should ask yourself that. Um, always if you use miracle Grow, you want to flush like use plain water for like a week before you start eating your uh, fruits and stuff now I don't even like using miracle Grow, guys but I will tell you down to earth that's a good one look them up uh, chicken manure mulch old food scraps throw them in your garden and then put your straw down so it don't stink uh, if you put fish dead fish in the holes and stuff always uh, put some lime down to cover the smell up so your neighbors or their dogs or something won't come out and dig up your all your seedlings because they smell the fish something to think about that lime kind of uh, just neutralizes that smell see you on the next one